Edward Snowden said nobody can buy a Cardano after the 4th of July. Could this be true? Stay tuned to find out more about it. During this episode, we'll talk about what Edward Snowden has to say about the Cardano cryptocurrency. In addition, he discusses why, in his opinion, most people won't be able to buy it until the 4th of July. In light of Edward Snowden's background information, he can be considered a legitimate personality in the crypto industry. After working for the CIA for several years, Edward Snowden temporarily moved to Russia, where he continues to reside. According to Edward, the NSA conducted some surveillance programs that are classified. As a part of the National Security Agency, the agency employs technology and cybersecurity to eradicate any threat to security of the United States. Further, Edward worked for the National Security Agency for nearly four years, during which he was stationed in various places, as well as Japan and Hawaii. He has had several contradictions about the activities of the CIA and the NSA during his time working for them. After that, he took a medical leave of absence and traveled to Hong Kong. Moreover, the public was informed of numerous classified information about NSA dealings during this period by Snowden. Another was a court order requiring Verizon, a telecommunications company, to turn over data on its subscribers including the phone numbers they dialed and the duration of their phone calls. Furthermore, he made available the data mining program PRISM designed to give direct access to servers of big brands such as Microsoft, Apple, and Facebook. Despite being charged with espionage by the United States government, Edward Snowden continued his whistleblowing without fear. As he explained, he intended to inform the public of what is being done in their name and what is being done against them. With so much information surrounding government dealings at his disposal, it stands the reason that whatever he says can make sense. Though nothing can be determined or verified, his comments are considered to be worth noticing. After focusing on cryptocurrency, Edward has grown more public attracted to his opinions, and a recent announcement from him about Cardano sparked some buzz in the world of cryptocurrency, especially for people holding ADA, and it kept many on their toes. In addition to this, everyone constantly keeps their ears open for any revelation that might support or refute his claim. The question is then, could this claim be true, and what could have motivated him to say this? With this, we'll find out through the rest of the video, so keep watching so you don't miss on what Edward Snowden has to say about the future of Cardano. What is happening with the Cardano price in the third week of March? Cardano has been on a downward trend for the past few weeks, and the price has hovered over 57 cents of a dollar. With this, Cardano was the seventh largest coin in terms of market cap. Since hitting a record high of $3 in September of last year, the Cardano price has been declining. This has generated mixed feelings among many Cardano investors. That's why some are buying more ADA coins, believing the price will one day recover and surpass its former all-time high. However, others are having some serious doubts over its recovery from its depth, so they are selling. Given the drop in Bitcoin price recently, we can only hope that the coin won't continue to decline. Next, let's take a look at what Edward Snowden has to say about cryptocurrencies. He's a big fan of cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin and some other coins such as Cardano. Likewise, Snowden, like numerous other crypto and Cardano enthusiasts, has high expectations for the cryptocurrency. Moreover, Snowden is no way a fan of the government, which is not surprising since cryptocurrencies are decentralized networks that operate without government interference. Aside from this, numerous analysts believe that Cardano is a worthwhile project to invest in based on various implementations on the network. Also, he expressed his concern over governmental interference in the cryptocurrency market. The government will likely destroy major cryptocurrencies without taking adequate action in a bid to maintain control over banks, according to him. This means that people will not be able to hold major cryptocurrencies such as Cardano in the future unless those coins have some kind of demand and essential utility. Meanwhile, for crypto investors, Snowden's statement has caused a lot of concern. There is a real concern on everyone's mind though. Could this be something to worry about? Similarly, Snowden revealed why he thinks the government views cryptocurrencies as a developing danger. According to Snowden, the government plans to control certain currencies as it takes people away from the government-controlled dollar. Furthermore, the currency may be considered a form of crypto capital, meaning that these currencies will largely be controlled by the governments themselves. Additionally, he explained how implementation may limit the freedom of common man to opt for an electronic cash substitute. 
Since Cardano is a decentralized cryptocurrency, it cannot be controlled by the government. Therefore, the government he claims is trying to impose regulations on the lives of citizens and new ventures in a way described as intrusive. Since the government has gotten involved in crypto, it is impossible to be too short of what this involves. Moreover, an increase in tax on cryptocurrency transactions has recently been approved by the United States government. It will therefore result in more expensive transaction fees, and people will have to spend more time and money processing these transactions. Cardano and other cryptocurrencies may experience a decline in transactions during the delay in the cryptocurrency industry. The move is opposed by a lot of people, but it's not clear whether they'd be strong enough to hold back the move. Furthermore, regulatory requirements require crypto brokers such as Coinbase to record and track customers' transactions and report them to the Internal Revenue Service. Brokers must report all their profits and losses as well as the proceeds they make from sales. In addition to this, it will be necessary for them to disclose addresses and phone numbers as well as the name of their customers. However, the big concern here is that these regulations are similar to those that Snowden disclosed previously. Also, brokers and investors who would like to buy crypto coins could be discouraged by these new regulations. In addition, Edward Snowden has suggested that if this interference does not cease, then the government will continue to employ advanced methods to take down cryptocurrency operations. Fortunately for Cardano, such inspections were not necessary with Cardano because it was easy to detect and prevent security flaws or any form of hack attempts, effectively protecting user privacy and security. In partnership with CoinFirm, an information technology service company that specializes in fraud investigation and anti-money laundering, Cardano has enabled the network to comply with all money laundering rules and regulation. Then, what else? Amy Arnott, portfolio manager at Morningstar, has said that she believes this coin will become one of the top three cryptos alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum within the next few years. Since Cardano can attract investors, she believes the network has the potential to attract investment. With its technical applications, it will soon match the value of Ethereum without sacrificing its market value. It may be because new currencies like Cardano offer greater security, transaction speed, and transparency in comparison to other popular currencies such as Bitcoin that Edward Snowden prefers. Its utility is also boosted by a fork and other innovations introduced by Cardano. With the NFT functionality and the Alonzo hard fork, it will help build decentralized applications on the platform as well as mint your own NFTs. Therefore, they are going to make more money. Aside from this, it is one of the major advantages and factors affecting a better future for Cardano that the community of active supporters is so strong. As a result of Edward Snowden's support for Cardano, it appears that the value of ADA is yet to peak. According to several analysts, the value of ADA will still pass the $2 mark soon. As expected, the world's most valuable cryptocurrency began a rare moment of stability, and this had a positive effect on its peers. Cardano's impressive innovations, together with its relatively strong community, should allow it to withstand hard times in the crypto market and remain competitive. Consequently, if Cardano skyrockets soon, what Snowden said about nobody buying ADA after the 4th of July could be true. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know what you think about this in the comments below. And of course, make sure you click subscribe and bell buttons.